In this shot, we're going to track aero graphics to the road. The first step is to track and stabilize the video to build a stabilized plate we can animate on. Once that's done, we can animate on the stabilized plate and see those graphics tracked to the video. Let's get started. For a shot like this, the area you want to track is significantly longer than the size of the frame. So I'd recommend increasing the composition size. I'll just do so by three times. And setting a dead zone on this footage. To do that, create a rectangular mask and duplicate it. Set the second mask to subtract, invert it, and make the expansion about 20 pixels or so and set the opacity to around 60 so you can still see it, but it's semi-transparent. This semi-transparent area is called the dead zone. It will tip off the tracker to stop points from tracking as it gets close to the edge of the frame. Anything less than 50% opacity, as you see here, as soon as a point enters it, it will stop tracking. And just because I know I'm going to get a bunch of comments about this, 60% actually means it's 40% opacity because we're subtracting, not adding. Okay, moving on. Pre-compose the footage, moving it all into a new comp. Then apply Lockdown. I don't need to use so many points, I'm going to increase the lasso grid pixel distance and draw roughly around the land. And press Track All. You can see the points are being terminated as they reach the edge of the frame. At the start of the footage, you can see there's plenty of area that isn't tracked, so we'll go ahead and add more points here. And same with the end of the footage. Control clicking and dragging to create the points, by the way. Command clicking and dragging on Mac. Sometimes I don't mention these details, I'm sorry. And I'll press track all again. So now to see this whole mesh as one, let's turn on interpolation. This shot is mostly planar, so we we'll use the unified plane interpolation mode. And we want this roughly centered. Maybe I'll just clear the mesh and auto triangulate again. And I'll press set lockdown mesh UV frame because this is the shape of the mesh we'll want to actually paint on. I'll take a closer look and I think the only points that might be having a little bit of trouble are the ones that the car is directly overlapping. So maybe these four right here. I'll just delete those. These won't be too consequential and we can auto triangulate again. And let's go back to After Effects. I'll press lockdown, and you can see that the texture is tracking. In order to make this look sane, let's bring this back to its correct proportions. I'm going to select all of the layers, pre-compose, moving all attributes into the new composition. We'll just call this working comp. And then in this composition here, let's set this back to 1920 by 1080. So now with this cropping, this is just showing the original shot. And of course we have this texture tracked. Let's go into the Stabilize Precomp, which has all of our graphics. We definitely don't need this checkerboard. And actually, this bottom layer is probably not relevant. This is just a freeze frame for reference. We can delete that. And let's scrub back and forth and see what's happening. So this is pretty cool. This is showing the shot in segments totally stabilized so you can paint on it. One thing that can be very helpful is to duplicate this layer over a couple of times so you can see the entire texture while you're working. Let's make this layer not a guide layer. And rather than just duplicate the layer and start moving it over in time to expand, it's probably more efficient to pre-compose it. So right now, if I did this, I have two layers which each have an instance of lockdown, and lockdown has some processing weight. So it's probably better to take this layer, pre-compose, move all attributes into the new comp, and then duplicate it, and then you can move these over in time.
and see the full range of the shot. So what I've done is in this middle, I have the last frame lined up here and the first frame lined up, and that is the whole texture of the shot there. I'll take these two, we can just take these and go time, freeze frame. And now as we play through this top layer is showing the actual video, and then the two bottom freeze frames are just good reference. And it probably makes sense to have one more freeze frame in the middle too. So now I'm going to add some graphics. I'm not going to show exactly how to create them, but basically you would take this texture, bring it into Cinema 4D, and animate arrows along a path. There are also plenty of ways to do it in After Effects. I just happen to like Cinema. I've taken the render from Cinema 4D and made a pre-comp out of it. I don't necessarily need to get into that step because I feel like this kind of graphic has been created many times. But just so you can see it, I did one version where the arrows aren't moving, they have a slight light sweep effect, and another where the arrows are moving. We'll get started with the ones where they aren't first. And this background doesn't actually need to render, we just need the graphic, and we can do the compositing and the other compositions. I'll make these guide layers. For the three still frames, let's just turn their opacity down. In this one remaining layer, shows the actual footage moving in the stabilized pre-comp. I know this is kind of hard to imagine, but this block is actually showing what the camera is seeing in the shot, and when it's stabilized, it just sweeps across the whole stabilized landscape. I'll undo that opacity change. I'll set this to add, and I'll add some glow. And let's take a look at it in the main comp. So there you have it. The arrows are tracked to the road. Let's also take a look at the variation where the arrows are moving. And as a reminder, you can apply graphics to any part of the shot that's been tracked. My team and I have developed an inside joke where we do the puppy test, where we just throw pictures of puppies all over an image to make sure everything looks like it's tracking properly. You can see that you can track any part of this video. Thanks for watching. For more info, check out aescripts.com lockdown.